hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog quick little outfit of the day both of these are from Dubletics. very comfortable especially the uh, joggers and i really love this top as well it looks a lot more like fancy but it's actually very comfortable i got this last year from them also still have my cast of course on my finger if you guys missed my uh, last two videos i'll have them linked down below if you guys want to know what happened with my finger and where i'm at and everything like that got my apple watch on and the strap is from amazon and all of my necklaces and earrings are from misoma generally feeling a little bit better a little bit more like myself the last few days um since i got this smaller cast on i have a little bit more you know flexibility and mobility and the things that i can do which feels amazing it's still obviously not at all <laughs> like it is normally still so many things that i can't do that i'm not allowed to do but still it feels a lot better the pain has also gone down a lot as well which is really nice on the other hand i might look and i feel very sleepy we've had a pretty rough last few nights with our baby i think she's going through or she's like starting to dip into the four month sleep regression. She's three and a half months right now. And the four month sleep regression, I think is the biggest one or the most significant one that a lot of parents talk about. I believe it's when their sleep cycles start to become more like adult sleep cycles, so longer, but they don't yet have the capacity to connect their sleep cycles. I think that's what it is. But yeah, their brains are just going through such a huge growth spurt during this time and they're just learning a lot developmentally and that takes a big toll on their little bodies. And she is a pretty good night sleeper. We are so, so, so grateful for that. During the day, it's like a different thing, but at night, she sleeps really good. But yeah, the last few nights have not been so easy. We've been awake pretty much the entire night. She will fall asleep, but then she'll wake up like an hour or an hour and a half later, soothe her again, put her back to sleep. So we're both a little bit sleepy, feel like kind of in the beginning when she was like a fresh, fresh newborn, but she's so cute and sweet and I love her so much. So yeah, it's just one of those things that you go through, I guess, in the first year of parenthood. Also want to say just a huge thank you for all the sweet comments and the love that you guys have sent me both on my YouTube and on my Instagram regarding my broken finger. A lot of you have also shared your own stories with me from if you've broken anything or gone through something super unexpected life can just be so crazy sometimes but as i've mentioned in my other videos i think it's so important to stay positive to keep moving forward just really been trying to take care of myself do nice things for myself there's always so much to still be grateful for even when horrible things like this happen yeah just Thank you guys so so much you guys know that i mentioned a few weeks ago i think it was even maybe like a month ago now that i wanted to get back into my workouts and um, i had started doing that which was really nice like i got into a little flow into a good routine and then i broke my finger and everything changed but yesterday i was actually able to do a little 15 minute standing pilates series which felt so nice i definitely want to try to keep that up over the next few weeks as my hand is healing just simple things but something that actually helps me to move my body because that genuinely makes me feel so good and i miss it so much i was just so excited to even start getting back into it after giving birth and letting my body recover for a little bit getting back into doing my daily walks as well that's something that i really want to do yeah just for my mental health that's been really really important black friday is also coming up very soon like official black friday i actually have a list of things from different brands that i want to shop their black friday sale things for the baby i want to get a travel stroller for when we're going away soon some other little things that i have my eye on so hopefully i'll be able to get all of those things and i'll share them with you in an upcoming video but i'm very excited for black friday we're also doing a black friday sale like i mentioned in my last video where we're doing 30 percent off our entire site and two free gifts with purchase so that is a really great sale Another brand that I absolutely love that is doing a huge Black Friday sale as well, which I will definitely be shopping, is Misoma. They are one of my all-time favorite jewelry brands. I have so many necklaces from them, so many earrings, and their Black Friday sale is 
good. They are offering 30% off site-wide and this is the only time of the year where they offer this 30% off. So if you've had your eye on anything, whether it's for yourself or for gifts for your loved ones for the holidays or for Christmas, then now is such a good time to shop their site. The necklaces that I'm wearing today, these are a few of my favorites, especially this charm necklace. This is so cute. It has a little heart, a smiley face, a peace sign, a really beautiful necklace with such a nice like meaning and symbolic message behind it. I love their classic curb chain necklace as well. This is such a nice modern but very elegant and classic piece. I wear this pretty much every single day. And then this Marina double rope necklace, I think that's the name of it. It's so beautiful. I love layering their chunkier pieces with more delicate ones like this. I think the combination of them is so pretty. And then these earrings that I have on today, the main ones are new. I'm really excited about these. They are kind of like baguette twisted type of earrings so pretty and then i have a smaller more delicate one in the second hole you guys probably know i also love their little gold hoops these are great everyday earrings that are lightweight so comfortable and all of their items are 18 karat gold plated including the part that goes into your ear so if you have sensitive skin or you're allergic to a lot of the metals used in traditional jewelry then these are amazing and i love that they're jewelry is lightweight especially their earrings so it makes them very comfortable to wear for many hours and just the quality and durability overall is really great again everything is 18 karat gold plated and they're great for daily wear so if you're just staying at home i love to wear these pieces with just like simple tops joggers and a simple t-shirt but they also work really well for the evening time if you want to get a bit more dressed up just such great versatile pieces and i love their designs and their styles and yet yeah, so exciting that they have this huge sale now for black friday again everything is 30 percent off so if you guys are interested in any of these items that i showed any of these necklaces or earrings whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones for christmas and the holidays then i'll have everything linked for you guys down below in the description box so as I mentioned, I've slowly started getting back into a little workout routine and I've really been enjoying a standing series that doesn't require me to put any pressure or weights in my hands. So I just have on these little ankle weights and baby girl will either watch me on the side in her bouncer or she'll be on her play mat, which she loves as well. And the workout is usually around 15 minutes or so, so it's short and sweet, but I still definitely feel a burn. It's all about using tiny muscles and you definitely feel it after a very short time as well so this is what i've been loving the most at the moment and it's just so so nice to get my body moving again it feels so good and not just physically and for my internal strength but also just for my mental and emotional well-being moving my body is always something that just makes me feel really really good so i'm super happy that i've been able to slowly get back into it then i will hop in the shower quick and get myself ready and baby girl will go in her carrier she loves being in this carrier and this one is so cute as well it's super comfortable i'll have it linked down below then i will try to get in some breakfast before she goes down for a nap so either i will have toast with eggs with some avocado or i'll have a smoothie which i've also been loving so i do spinach protein powder frozen banana frozen blueberries chia seeds add some water Water in there too, blend it up, and it's such a nice smoothie that is super nutritious, balanced, and filling. And then a little bit later, I made myself a matcha as well, which I love so much, and I had this as I was doing some work on my computer. Okay, it is a little bit later. Baby girl is down for another nap and I am at my computer now. And I'm gonna take this time to try to get myself a bit more organized for the holidays, for Christmas. I've just made a list of all the people that I want to get gifts for, get cards for, and just other things that I need for the holidays because we are going on our first trip two trips actually we're first going to barcelona for a few days to see my dad we're doing like an early christmas dinner there and then we are going to switzerland two days after so we're home for two days and then 
we go to Geneva to see my mom for another few days. And because there are so many great sales going on right now for Black Friday, I really want to try to get all of my Christmas gifts now so I can be prepared and ready and not feel stressed around the holidays. And also, I feel like the holidays are such a nice time to enjoy and just to kind of like scale back a little bit, take it a bit more easy. And also, because we are going to be traveling with our baby, I need to make sure that there are things at both of my parents house for the baby that we are not going to be bringing so for example like a travel cot diapers things that are just a bit bigger and bulkier that i don't necessarily want to be traveling with but yeah so i've made a list of all of the things that i need to get myself organized with and now i'm going to try to get as many things as possible with the black friday sales with all of the brands that i've been stocking and yeah i'm just so excited for the holidays and for christmas i want to do our tree soon maybe in the next um probably within the next week or so and this will be the first year with our baby girl as well which is so exciting i've gotten her two really cute little christmas dinner dresses and outfits um even some things for the day that are so so sweet and just to bring her home to my families both my mom's and my dad's and just spend our first Christmas together. It's gonna be so, so nice. So hopefully this inspires some of you guys to do the same as well. If you are like me, you don't like to feel overwhelmed and stressed out. I mean, I don't think anyone likes to feel that way, but um, the key to prevent that is to be organized and to prepare. So that is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So cooking has not been so easy for me the last few weeks so we've been ordering in a lot but this night we were so craving a home cooked meal just something with lots of greens so I made this simple chili with this really great seasoning some crushed tomatoes in there and then we had this with some steamed green beans on the side and we put the chili in lettuce cups and this was so good definitely something we had just been craving after ordering in a lot yeah it's just not so easy to cook with my broken finger but yeah we both really really enjoyed this meal playing ping pong since one hour with Nalia oh my god there's this really funny meme maybe I can pop it in here or I have it linked down below but it's where two like really intense ping pong players are playing a match and it's hilarious I have my Invisalign in by the way we won the match I made it work <laughs> I gave her the bottle, she didn't want, she refused. Oh my god, she's going through this thing now where she just doesn't want to eat like normal. I think it's part of the leap, part of the whole sleep regression. We are now going to watch our favorite show of the moment, which is almost finished. I mean, it's not of the moment, it has been our favorite show even... Before. Yeah, there's, there's a a no season. season. It's yeah. Love is Blind. It's really good. Yeah, we both really love it. And we're now watching the last episode, which is the reunion. Juicy. Is Juicy, love Juicy. really blind? I think it's, it depends in certain situations. Probably mostly no. I think what is very important to say, love is so much work. As I say always, it's like a puzzle. Relationships are so much work because love, yeah. love is not work. Love no, is but like, a relationship is work. And, yeah. and it's adjustment. And if two people that might love each other outside of the bubble oh my god we love so much we love each other so much but mm -hmm. the moment you move together you live together you see daily life mm -hmm. and you see things here and there and everything bothers you that's where you make it work to mm -hmm. real love love is you know if you can it's do like a it marathon. it's it's yeah it's not a, it's it's not not a sprint, sprint it's, it's a, a marathon. marathon yeah but yeah it's funny to see this show where people fall in love yeah, it's a cute show and i think it's very interesting oh my to see. goodness i know i was we're fighting so with tired. Nadia. <laughs> let's see if she's sleeping oh cute little baby my sweet little angel bear all right guys thank you so much for watching hope that you're all having a beautiful day and i'll see you in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.